Champ. Here is the reigning champ, the reigning European champ, the reigning Olympic king as well, Yevgeny Tyshenko. Yevgeny Tyshenko, the king of every territory that is available to him. Took his second European Championship gold medal earlier this summer. Victory over England, Chevron Clark. The gold medal bout. Because his opponent, David Naika, is a talented young man from New Zealand, the reigning Commonwealth Games light heavyweight champion at 81 kilograms. But in the intervening three years, the 22 year old has matured into a fully fledged 91 kilogram heavyweight, and he possesses just about every skill in the book. He's been sparring actually when we look at Team GB and um, had some good spars. He's come over, I think he's paid his own way over to England and um, yeah, so he's, he's willing to, to improve and he's been putting in some, some hard training with the GB team. As you see his route of, you see his route of progression through to this quarter-final stage. Evgeny Tyshenko, the reigning champion, had a hard-fought win over the veteran from Colombia. Davis Julio. And those men really did go to battle with one another. This one promises to be a fantastic contest as Manuel Villarino of Argentina sends the men back to their respective corners. action in the 91 kilogram heavyweight division between the reigning defending champion wearing red representing Russia who just scored with a good start poor jab that is Evgeny Tashenko ranked number one in the world the tournament number one seed and his opponent there is David Naika ranked number 21 in the world 22 years of age He's quite a skillful um, fellow, this New Zealand. He throws a lot of single shots. And here he's up against a, a, a very good boxer indeed. I need we say more Olympic champion um, and defending world champion at the moment, Zanitischenko. He is a tremendous talent, this Russian. Tall, rangy, safe ball. But he's very good on the inside for such a tall boxer, is Tischenko. So he's a good all rounder, very difficult to beat. So David Naika has got his work cut out here, but he, he is a talent, this New Zealand boxer. Second right hand got through, but he was countered by a right jab from Tyshenko. And then you see a right-left combination from the champion. And when he gets into close territory, despite possessing long levers, being six foot five inches tall, 1.96 meters, he turns a terrific uppercut underneath. And he's got a good work rate as well. Pecking double right jabs, an effective combination from Tyshenko. David Naika, also a switch hitter. You see him go from the blocks to side ball, his feet cross occasionally going forward. And that's what he's got to watch out for there. That's a lovely right hand from Naika. But maybe he's got to do something like that, something different, something unorthodox to get through to this, uh, this very good Russian boxer indeed. Because like I say, Tyshenko, if you make mistakes against him, he's going to punish you very skillful indeed. So maybe that might take something very different to try and get the better of him. To target that right hand, and he comes back with a good left right combination that spurs Tyshenko into an action. And he pursues Maika with a straight combo of his own. The backhand success repeated over the past 30 seconds or so for Maika. Cuffing right hook around the corner, went over the shoulder and onto the target of the man in blue. See, one thing I like about Tyshenko, Ron, he's not one of these tall, safe poor boxers who sits on his back foot. He's willing to adapt and change. He gets caught there, but he'll go forward. He'll force the pace. He'll actually work on the inside. Naika, again, like we said before the start of the cut, throws a lot of singles, and he probably needs to double up his attacks and, and throw threes and fours rather than just that single right hand. Now to 
left hand wasn't too far away from Naika. A measured display in the opening round from the two-time Oceanian heavyweight champion. Shenko had success as well, particularly with his one-two salvos. I didn't think it was too bad around there for Naika. Good straight um, right hand there. And again, Tishchenko just falling short with his work there. Naika just getting out of the way and boxing at distance. Let's see what um, Tishchenko can do in the second round. He's an Olympic champion, remember. He's used to boxing all different types of styles. That's why he is an Olympic champion. So uh, it's a bit of a puzzle for him to work out here. Championship gold medalist at heavyweight. As well as the gold in Kharkiv, Ukraine. Toshenko took gold in Bulgaria two years ago. <laughs> These men have WSB experience. Naika picked up some WSB experience in season seven. Compiling a record of two wins and no defeats. Terrific <laughs> display by him. Eliminating the number eight seed, the unanimous point decision victory. I think Mike is boxing well here at all at range. He's containing Tishchenko at this stage. Tishchenko just slowed the pace down a little bit. I think that suits. It's actually suiting Naika's style of boxing. He's on the back foot. He's, he's picking these single shots. It's not a lot getting through. Tishchenko is he's playing a patient game here. At the same time, there's not a lot of work coming from Russia at this stage. And he's probably going to up it a little bit here. He's going to step on the gas. Yeah, here, this little bit of Good right hand again from Naika. Counted by a right jab from Tishchenko. Double attack from Naika in the second right hand. Did get through, as did that one. And again. Tushenko, cuffing left hook scored there, but he's struggling to get to grips and find his timing against this unconventional opponent. But he changes angle, he brings his right foot through, he's in and out, he's there, then he's not there. And he's just struggling to find the rhythm. Look at that, missed again and counted immediately. Yes, and again. He's struggling with the distance at this stage, is Tushenko. That's mainly because he, his feet are a little bit too slow, and that's just a, the pace is suiting the man in blue. Tishchenko's got to get up on his toes a little bit, and he's got to work a little bit hard. He's waiting too long, and his feet are far too slow, which is suiting the man in blue. He's just picking his shots. See, that's better from Tishchenko. He's got to do more of that and get on the front foot more. Tushchenko with a wonderful right hand between the south pole guard. Good left right, put hand to the body, though, from Tushchenko. The right hand through the guard once again from the man in blue. Targeting that same shot and having repeated success with it. And then when he goes on the retreat, Lee crouches down, leaves that head away, and he's very difficult to tag cleanly. Before the champion. I think because Naika doesn't really engage, does he? It's a single shot, then he's back on the outside. And um, that's not allowing them to shake out to get his punches off. He's never there. For, for a second, he's in Naika. He hits and then he moves, and it's difficult to actually get to him. Like I said, it's a puzzle that Tishchenko has got to work out, but he's struggling at this stage with uh, the issue. Thank you for support. From the <laughs> islands of New Zealand for Naika. <laughs> Quite a difficult round for him, wasn't it? He, he slowed it down a little bit too much. Did it to Shenko? I thought it suited David Naika. Falling short with his work, gets caught with a, a left hook, and then he almost got caught with a right hand also. So he is finding his opponent very awkward indeed. I thought that's the right word there for Naika. He is an awkward man to box against. <laughs> Whole round, work the whole round. So 
as we move into the third and final round, David Naika, the reigning five-time national championship gold medalist of New Zealand, left the corner with the instructions from his coach of work the whole round. Three minutes to go, work the whole round. He's boxed terrifically so far at this type of off-rhythm, herky-jerky tempo, and the reigning defending champion has spent the majority of the contest doing that, missing, falling short. He did have success with the south ball left, particularly in the opening round. He almost appears to be bamboozled by the man who's in front of him. He just can't get any consistent success away. No, I think there's no one more surprised than, than David Naika with the success that he's having. Um, no one more surprised than himself. I really think that he's probably thinking, you know, he's getting the better of the exchanges here, and he expected more from Chischenko. He just seems to be slowed down, and he just can't get to grips with this style. And even in the exchanges, Naika growing in confidence and staying in the pocket a little bit longer to land the two shot salvo ending with a terrific left hook. Here's the same shot again. Chichenko now he's just up in the work right now with him. Maybe he senses that um, you know, things aren't going his way. It would be an absolutely massive, I can't say how big an upset it would be for David Nate to, to beat um, Chichenko. And maybe just Chichenko is just sensing that he's got to do more work now. Or well, beyond the midpoint of the third and final round, and worth pointing out that again, it was an absolutely barnstorming draw, full of skill, I hasten to add. In the second preliminary round that Tyshenko engaged in with Davis Julio, the man from Colombia. Maybe that's affected him well in this contest, yeah. that, you know. Because as you pointed out, Richard, this is a long game and he walks onto another right hand. But work rate has usually been one of Tyshenko's hallmarks. But it's either an inability to apply it or an inability to get to grips with the style that the fleet footed Naika is presenting in front of him. He's continuing to peck and poke with single shots and invariably avoid the counter. Right hand success again for the man in blue. He looks tired, doesn't he, Tishchenko? Well, I think if you hit, you've hit it on the head, the previous contest in this tournament has affected him here. He doesn't quite look himself. Naika, I think he's sensing it now, and he's actually working harder than his opponents. It's been a tremendous performance from the New Zealander. You take the left hand there, but, and the right hand as he moved the way to his right, Naika. But for the majority of the round, and indeed the majority of the contest, he's been hitting without being hit. And that is the art of boxing. The noble art of Pitamide gets through with another right hand as he switches style for what a contest we've just witnessed and what a performance by the man in blue. Kutashenko back to his corner and Naika. Again, the body language instructive, instructive because as you know, Richie, veteran of both the Aiba and professional codes, Olympic bronze medalist, Boxers are often the first to know whether it's been their night or not. I think the body language says it all, doesn't it? The corner um, of Chischenko is very quiet indeed, no smiles. Chischenko himself, very stony faced. And uh, again, there, David Naika in this last round catching um, Chischenko with the more eye catching shots. I thought there was a, a section of the round where Tyshenko started to up the, up the pace and work rate a little bit. He certainly looks a little bit jaded, maybe from the contest before. Let's listen in. Receiving generous applause from the crowd here. Not a popular decision in the Hamburg Sport Halle, but the reigning defending champion through to the medal podium. Not a good performance from Chischenko. Just gets over the line. I think you heard the reaction from the crowd. And they didn't really like it, but um, he goes through. Naika, you take huge...